Hi, my name is Barry Crompton. Today I'm going to show you around our Mercedes-Benz X-Class. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2.3 X250D power double cab pickup. Auto-formatic, 2019 on a 19 plate. Has done 16,826 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 29.4 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 40.9 miles per gallon. And combined is 35.8 miles per gallon. It has a top speed of 109 miles per hour out of a 188 brake horsepower, four cylinder, 16 valve engine. So we've got the uh, big Jurassic Park type grille on the front there. Uh, chrome lower section, Xenon headlamps, front fogs, front parking sensors. I think that's uh, high pressure headlamp wash, but you, sometimes you, you can't tell these days because they put those little uh, bits in anyway, but there's, there's nothing behind them, so I'll check in a minute. Multi-spoke, piano black and uh, diamond cut alloy wheels. It's in need of a set of tyres, which we'll, uh, we'll put on just to, to make it better. The side step, power folding door mirrors, chrome window and uh, body separator, chrome door handles, and then it's matte black around the top with uh, rear privacy glass. The roof bar carrier system. This has got the, uh, I suppose in the old days they were a Truckman top, but uh, I'm not sure whether this is a Mercedes fitment or not. I know it's about 2,700 quid, rear privacy glass, and it's got an unusual feature which you, you don't usually see. There's a little button at the side here. If I can just find it, that should, because sometimes it, 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 rather than stretching through the back, you can uh, just reach in from the side and get your tools out or whatever. Mud flaps, the little integrated spoiler there. Also uh, on the back here, you have the lock in the back window and this little button that opens the, the glass and then you've got the complete boot lid, if uh, for want of a better word. It's got the uh, hard load liner in as well, Mercedes Benz, and uh, also adjustable um, anchor points on the side to, to strap your uh, tools or whatever you're carrying down. Nice. This is just as it's come in, um, straight off the customer, which is all, always best to see a pickup because sometimes they chuck all sorts of stuff in the back, but there's no scratches, there's no scuffs. It, it's been mostly for private use. So just in there, you've got the reversing camera. Um, another candidate for the most hideous tow bar in the world, but very functional and, and looks like you could tow the QE2 with that thing. Reversing sensors in the bumper and again, chrome bumpers. Bit of a step up there. It's got the uh, Artico leather and Alcantara seats. Um, plenty of headroom. Seats are nice and high in the, the back. You've got the child seat Isofix rear anchor points, heavy duty rubber mats. Um, just ni nice vehicle, hardly used in the back. I, I did mention it's got reversing sensors. It's actually got the 360 degree all round camera system, which I'll, I'll show you in a short while. I'll just take you for riding it. That's the key. It's uh, keyless entry and keyless start too. So you just need somewhere to put that uh, that key where it doesn't rattle. There's a start button, foot on the brake. Got electric seats here. There we go backrest and there's also lumbar support a little one on the bottom and here we've got height adjustable steering wheel get that in a comfy place <laughs> when I set off before I was looking for the handbrake and uh, I was looking for one of these stupid electric ones anyway it's a proper it's a proper handbrake so that's a good thing, and, and for Mercedes-Benz as well, 
um, it's a proper gear selector instead of having the one uh, where your wipers would normally be. Uh, of course, there's nothing here on the on this Merc, but uh, nice brushed aluminium um, dash there, dash insets, and also matching on the uh, armrest. Now um, we've had a bit of everything today as far as weather goes. It was minus five before. The sun's just come out now, but every so often you'll hear a beep and you'll see that light's on at the moment and it appears that the uh, the little the, the only probably the only thing in the car that's still the same as it was in the in the, the 60s a little earthing switch to tell the system that the door shut and the light to go out it, it appears to be frozen somehow and uh, hence the the lights are on there so we will get that fixed well <laughs> we'll we'll get it thawed out hopefully it might uh, with the heating on now it might come on but where I've just been it, it was only up the road and it was virtually snowing so it's, uh, we're in strange days I'm afraid so good spec um, I couldn't decide which colour it was from the, I downloaded a brochure, I couldn't tell uh, which colour it was, I think it was something like Axomite or, there we go, that, that beeping, it's, it's telling me that the door's open and, and it, it isn't. So the rear truckman top, which isn't a truckman top, it's um, on, on the, the left hand side, there's, although there's a switch on both sides, there's only an opening window from the switch on, on the, the left hand side or the, the near side. So that, that's a handy thing. Electric switch to open the glass part of the kind of tailgate at the back and then uh, handle to open the, the bottom part very very sturdy um, it's also lined it's got the heavy duty load liner it's not scuffed up it's not marked nobody's been carrying cement mixes or or, or stuff like that in it it's really really well looked after they say that the, the tires aren't bald by any means but I think uh, the, this car is just on the edge of, of three mil, and, and we wouldn't send it out like that. So we'll be uh, sorting the tyres out, and uh, otherwise, it, I mean, it's just a lovely car. You've got the Mercedes-Benz version of BMW's iDrive. That's. Uh, that knocks you back and that star there brings up the menu you've got sat nav or you've got nav radio and media there if you're like me and you prefer just to press a button although I, is it a touch screen no it's not a touch screen so to agree you still have to pay, press the the rotary control there so that's sat nav destination entry and that's showing the map got Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming, oops, no, I'm, I'm, what's the score here, all right, so I'll just, uh, I'll just check that again in a minute, we've also got um, lane departure warning, <laughs> which, it's, uh, it gives you like a, a slight vibration through the, the steering wheel if you go over the the uh, line there, the, the big white lines, if you go over them without indicating, it gives you like a little wobble through the steering wheel. Not quite sure what that's meant to do if you've, if you've missed massive white lines there. Um, you probably won't notice a little 
tremble in the steering wheel. It should, it should, a hand should come out of the dash or something and slap you across the face for not indicating, but. Then all the uh, BMW drivers would be in hospital. On the right hand side here, we've got power folding door mirrors. Then back out again, it's electric door mirrors. You've got your electric window switches here. You've got quite a good audio system, the speaker system's good. Uh, we'll show you how to set the sat nav, how to pair your mobile, how to delete a mobile, and how to stream audio. Not the most straightforward system sometimes in, in the Merc, but once you've, uh, fortunately, you don't get a new phone every day, or most people don't. So you've, uh, you've only got to do it once every so often. It's a lovely looking thing. Roof bars, if you've not got enough space in the back, you can always get a, uh, a top box or something like that. Um, and the, the roof bar carrier system, if you've got ladders or anything. But I think mostly, these days, uh, pickups like this are, are kind of a fashion accessory. They're not exactly used for work. The, we did go through a phase, I, I think that's finished, where it was classed as a commercial vehicle and instead of paying so much, so many percent in tax, you just have to make 500, 500 quid and they became very, very popular. And I, and I think, once people then realised just how useful they were and you can accommodate your family during the week or at weekends uh, and, and your you work colleagues uh, during the week and uh, all the tools as well in the back. I think we might be here for a while. It's a good job I've got half a tank of fuel here. There's uh, Mrs Indecisive in front. Don't seem to want to go. My only chance is this guy pulling out and shielding her which you probably can't see now. Lots of salt on the road today, so the screen is uh, getting covered very quickly. Got a self-dip mirror there and it's, uh, gives you your direction of travel in the mirror there if you if you want to go old school and not use a sat nav so here we go nearly at 70 69 miles an hour and young lady just uh, impeding progress and so is this guy so we'll do that again Try it again. Oh God, she's eating a bag of crisps or something. No, no hand on the steering wheel there when I went past the eating crisps. I don't know. So we'll try again. That's cruise control set at 70 miles an hour. We're doing 2,000 revs. I've got to say it's pretty quiet for a pickup. Um, although the good thing with it is, as opposed to an estate, your suspension towers are outside the cabin, so you don't get any noise travelling through them. That's the uh, lane departure or lane assist that you can switch on. And you've also got a really good system. Uh, unfortunately, it won't display properly because, in order not to distract you from traffic, so the picture is faded out while the vehicle's in motion. Well, what if you want to use it when it's in motion? But anyway, I'll show you when we get up here. I would think it's actually uh, handy for getting through small gaps and stuff. 
but uh, it's a 360 degree picture when you're reversing or going into a space as I say it's uh, it's knocked that camera out because it thinks that door's open could go on about how cars have got too complicated these days and uh, things going wrong but I think actually it is <laughs> a part that's been in a car since time and memoriam perhaps they should make them uh, heated like they do with some washer nozzles these days door handles steering wheels seats oh heated seats there's a little switch on the front of the seat here and it's got high and low and off. Good heated climate control there. Your four wheel drive settings are here on a, a rotary control again. Now I just felt a little uh, tickle through the steering wheel then. I'd obviously just cut that line. It's very uh, very sensitive. We've also got um, traffic signal recognition. Just tell him in the dash, 50 miles an hour, up this stretch of road, which I do find, well, I, I think that should probably be on all cars. And there you go, with the home button there, you've got trip, navi, radio, media, telephone, assistance graphic oh oh there we go that's that must be uh, it's the lane departure warning I think but all the all the white lines are worn out up here so we probably won't get trouble with that See now, just then, the 360 cameras would have come in very, very handy. <laughs> I, I could have seen just how close we missed each other by. Again, really good steering for a for a pickup, and essentially all the the weights at the front isn't it? So pretty light on the back end, which you can see like that. As I mentioned, the uh, the tow bar on the back of this, it's uh, a rather substantial thing, and uh, I would imagine you'd be able to uh, definitely tow anything. But if you're not going to be towing, then uh, I'd be uh, I'd be taking that off because it's a it's an absolute eyesore. going to knock that lane assist off and uh, I think we've got front centre on our armrest cup holders here um, ni nice vehicle very very handy if you're in need of a pickup and uh, you're not in a position to have uh, a car or a four-wheel drive for weekend and so on then uh, it, it's a great vehicle it is nice and comfortable I have to say just um, from here if you click the back button
So I'll uh, I'll finish the test drive there. I uh, I started. I went out for a test drive in a Land Rover Discovery we had yesterday, which had just been cleaned. Just come out of the workshop, and Lance had finished detailing it. And uh, <laughs> I was held up once or twice while I was videoing it. And then I just got on the dual carriageway, and uh, somebody rang to buy it. <laughs> So I'll, I'll probably put it on the internet anyway, as soon as I've done the work. But uh, I'm just trying to think what else we've got, what we've got next. Still got a Volvo Estate to get round to, a, a Fiesta. Um, just bought four Vito vans, all the same colour and specification and round about the same mileage. Um, I, think, I think that's about it at the moment. I'm probably not be able to get anything done tomorrow. We're, we're busy in the morning. And it gets, it actually gets dark. If you've not finished by two o'clock, you can, you can hardly, you know, you, you haven't got enough light for decent photographs of the interior. So that's it. This is, that's probably me for until the new year. So uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching this year. It's been, been great for our YouTube channel and it's been the best year we've ever had as far as sales go and so on. Even with such uh, terrible circumstances with the, the lockdowns and so on. So uh, who knows what we'd have done if we'd have been able to open and sell cars. So again, thanks for watching. Have a happy and prosperous new year. Please keep watching and if we can do anything for you in the future, just give us a shout. Um, we've got live chat, we've got email, telephones, landlines, uh, you name it. And uh, I'll answer you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for watching.